What's up guys, Sean here, back in Hurt World, and I thought I'd hit you with another quick how-to. Uh, what we're looking at today is how to get cars, and they are something that you will spend a lot of time hunting for parts for. And as you can see, I've got mine here, it's painted up. I found one with some skulls on the bumper, so it looks pretty slick. So we're going to go over uh, just where to find these cars and the things you can do with them. As you can see, you can paint your car to customize them. You can see the different paint colors I, I have here. I didn't really have too much choice in the color scheme because they were just random drops, so I slapped them on. I do have the graffiti design on it. And each position for the paint uh, determines the location of the paint on the car. So as you can see in this slot, which is the second one, it applied a red paint. It's kind of hard to see the layer there. Uh, in the third slot, it applied the blue paint, which looks like it's the primary paint color. And then in the first slot is the yellow, which covered the frame. Uh, and then in this slot here is where you apply the design skins, basically. So that's where that graffiti kind of look comes from. And as you can see, the parts are here. Right now, you can't uh, swap parts. As far as I know, that'll be something that's coming at some point. Uh, the essential parts you need for the car are obviously an engine. We have a standard one here. There's also a damaged and I believe a powerful engine. This is just the standard one. The gearbox. Uh, I believe there are multiple gearboxes. There's the, this gearbox and I believe a road gearbox. I haven't found that yet myself. And you need gasoline to fuel it. Uh, you also need to supply the tires. On this one I have two different sets of tires as you can see. I have the quad bike nipple wheel on the front which is smaller and on the back I have billy cart wheels which are a little bit bigger so it gives it a slight rake on it. So now to the important part. I'm going to show you how to find the cars themselves. Alright, so when you're going to find the car parts, I mean it's definitely easier if you have a car to drive to the spots, but that's probably not the case to start with. You need to go to the ruins to find the car parts. So we've got the ruins in the winter biome, which are transit and the boonies on the map. We have the ruins in the red desert biome, which are the crossroad and airfield. And we also have the sort of starter area ruins, which are fortress and valley. They will all contain either broke down goat builders, which are the ATVs, or broke down roaches, which are the cars at the moment. Each one of these broke down vehicles has the potential to contain uh, a car part such as an engine, a gear, the gas, or wheels. Primarily I found the wheels on the ATVs, but we're going to head out now to some of these spots and see if we can actually locate uh, some of the parts to give you an idea of what you're looking for. So there we have it. We found an engine, we put our gears on it, we put our gas on it, we threw the tires on it, and it's a pretty light vehicle because there's no back seat, there's no hood, there's no front seat. It's just basically a frame with those side panels, so it's pretty quick. Your cars are affected by the type of engines, wheels, and modifications they have done to them, so keep that in mind. It will affect your speed. Uh, so if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't find it helpful, give it a thumbs down. And as always, smash that subscribe button. Have fun out there in your vehicles, and we'll see you in the next video.